Oh hey, what's up everyone? Well, I hope you're enjoying the footage from Overland Expo West so far. In this video, I wanted to show you a new fridge I've been testing, but there's something different about this fridge than all the other fridges I've ever used or tested. Let's just say this thing takes the words off-road fridge to a whole other level. <laughs> you think the fridge is cool and you're looking to scoop it i've got an affiliate link below you'll help support the channel so check that out so the big selling point with this fridge is that it'll power itself uh i'm a little skeptical they claim 10 hours it'll power it with this little battery uh, that's not very big so um i don't know i want to see if it'll actually do that if it will well that could be a game changer no way you guys what that's amazing i mean so as most of you know i'm building my jeep gladiator to live full time out of we're currently still in the process of building the bison overland camper and i've been trying out a lot of different stuff in the back seat here so here we've got an echo power fridge slash freezer let's pull look at it all righty so you'll also notice all my stickers here these are all my friends hey friends how you doing but yeah this is all messy this is real life stuff here guys uh i've been storing my clothes here and shoes right here right next to the fridge i've been running my fridge off of the max oak eb240 but this fridge is pretty special. And now this might look like some of the fridges they sell at Costco and uh, you know, you probably have seen this style before. One thing I've noticed is there is actually a latch on this. Um, some of these that I've seen buddies have, they're not quite a latch now. It seems to move a little, so I mean, it's a pretty good seal, I think. Potentially could be better. Anyways, the really, really neat part about this. So right now, you can see the fridge is on. We're at 36. It's been on, by the way, for about two weeks uh, straight. And I always like to test these things and leave them on for at least a few weeks straight. Um, everyone that's performed well after that, you know, it, it seems to just stay on. So anyways, let's unplug it from power, though. So we're not plugged into our power here. But look at this. Did you see that? And did you see how the fridge turned back on? So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a separate power bank. There is a battery in this fridge. What? How does that work? Well, you know the power station down there? Well, they just kind of took that and put it in the fridge. So let's talk about this. Why would you need this extra battery? Well, the main thing is if you're taking the fridge out of the truck or you're taking the power station out of the truck. This will run for 10 hours off of just this battery. Um, so we're gonna start that test right now as well and follow you up on that. I'm not gonna plug this back in um, all day. This thing has a few more special features though, so let's whip it out of the truck and show you those. Take our stuff out here. It's got wheels, what? Oh. Things got freaking wheels, you guys. This is pretty crazy. I'm wheeling around a fridge that's on. And I'm just walking around with it and it's still on. What? I mean, that's cool, right? I think so. These wheels actually work really well rolling around really rough areas as well. Wow, I'm real zoomed in there. No. Do you even look at your hair today? No, it's messy. But yeah, the. The wheels work really well on rougher surfaces. I mean, this is my first time kind of towing it around, but look, we'll do some rock crawling. Oh, 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 dang, dude. You guys, this thing crawls, man. Look at this. Here, we'll crawl another one. Here we go, here we go. Whoa, oh, dude, all right. This thing is a wheeler. She's a wheeler. Doesn't have pneumatic tires, so you can't drop air pressure or anything like that. But, <laughs> I mean, it is a fridge. All right, so we know this thing can rock crawl, but is it down to mob? Let's see. <laughs> Super impressed. 
It's going amazing. <laughs> I had no idea I could make this video so much fun. You add wheels to something, I'm gonna mob it. <laughs> it actually is doing great. Let me show you some damage because it did get a little bit of scuffs and you know, we use the skid plates a little, well, maybe it needs skid plates actually. Maybe there's a suggestion. All right, well, it is still on. So that's a great sign. We didn't jingle anything loose. And actually, now that I think of it, this is probably a great test for it. So let's see, we've uh, got some scuffs here, a little bit there. We've uh, scuffed, it looks like there's, that's the drain. So that's where we, we skidded a little bit, but the bottom looks pretty good. It's, you know, this thing has some pretty good clearance. It's surprising when you really get it on the trail, you realize how capable it is. Seriously though, if you go somewhere where you're like, yeah, the spot's just right over there, just a quarter mile. <laughs> this would be awesome to have, you know, if you're tent camping and hauling a little bit away from where you're parked, you could mob this. I did it really doesn't have a lot of suspension travel it actually doesn't have any but it seems to just float right over stuff man <laughs> oh and there is food in here by the way i actually don't really remember what but um oh <laughs> oh no <laughs> we've got we've got crap everywhere um these are julie's old seven ups and salami and grapes the grapes probably didn't like that ride too much but uh yeah, so we did have food in there. No joke. All righty, here's a fridge test. We moved the Jeep. It's been on since noon yesterday, and it's noon today, which marks 24 hours. It's still on. No way, you guys. 32 degrees. It's got one bar left. It says 10 and a half. So it's time to charge this thing up. But they claimed it would last 10 hours and it lasted 24 hours. What? That's amazing. I mean, if I had a solar panel hooked to that, just a hundred watt that was even on the hood or well, the hood or the roof rack, I pointed to the roof when I said hood, um, it would have charged this up significantly. I should have left the panel out and plugged in. I'm leaving now though. But this thing's amazing, and you know what I just thought? I should probably put it in the A-liner because I'm gonna be putting a wood stove in there and winter camping here when there's a bunch of snow at the property. Oh, thank you. And um, like, if I put it in there, I can run it off a battery bank, and then if my battery bank dies, apparently it'll run for about 24 hours. Um, just on its own. Blows my mind, actually. It's really cool. It just fits. Wow. It just fits. Yeah, I wanna just build a slide for it so that you pull it out. We'll put the wood stove right here. I'm gonna take all this, this area out, this whole chunk of storage and stuff here. Take that out, put the wood stove here, and run the jack out there straight to the top of the roof outside. Brian already talked me through how we'll do it. It'll open this area up a little bit more too. The wood stove will probably be set in about here. And also, this thing does have a solar panel that goes with it. And so let's plug that in and fold out panels. They do give you tons of solar panel wire, so you won't be, you won't be lacking that. This is a 110 watt panel or something. Um, so we'll set it like that and we'll see if we get any charge, but I don't think we're gonna, the battery's still full. <laughs> so it's not gonna charge if it can't charge anymore. For my weekend warriors out there, maybe you don't need a power station now. Maybe this is all you bring. You don't need to worry about powering it off your truck. You don't need to worry about that dual battery setup or that solar panel on your hood to make sure your fridge keeps running. Maybe this is all you need. Maybe. I don't know. You got to decide that, right? The interface, pretty nice. Can just lower temps. Um, you've also got a little 
USB right here. Plug stuff in that, charge your phone off of this little battery as well. And then, yeah, the interface is, I mean, super simple. Um, there's this the max and then eco settings and temperature and that's it well i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the eco power lion cooler and solar panel i really do think this could be a cool option for certain people it's just something to think about another cool option on the market really cool to see the innovation and having that battery bank literally right there in the fridge um, it kind of blew my mind using it and walking it around a little bit and again it's been on in the truck as my main fridge for the past couple weeks thank you guys so much for watching again check the link below for my affiliate link if you do end up wanting to scoop this fridge up you do it through that link you'll help support the channel i appreciate you we'll see you on the next one like and subscribe for more the only question is are you down to mob <laughs>